What's in a pilot's bag 2022 edition? Let's take a look. All right, folks, uh, for those of you looking for the specific review of this bag that'll be coming up next right now, I'll be talking about how my packing has changed in the last uh, year. Um, since transitioning to the Boeing 737 aircraft, uh, due to a real estate issue, the size of the cubby to my right, where we can fit what historically has been known as the flight kit, um, I've had to change how I pack the bag that I use and how it's going. I've been using this bag now for several months, and I will be doing a bag-specific review coming up next. As far as what has changed, let's go ahead and take a look at how this bag is being packed. Um, the very top is water. Hydration is all important. I do have this one in a uh, insulated so that the water can remain very cold during summertime. During wintertime, not necessary, but I just uh, keep the same water. As far as the outermost pouch, I typically keep that which would be most important, right? So if I am a passenger on a flight or I just need a quick uh, earbuds, I got my uh, AirPod Pros over here. Uh, this little device I did talk about uh, in the video last year, which is the Airflies Pro. You plug this into the back of, uh, if you're a passenger, uh, into your entertainment uh, center, right? Right underneath where you would plug your headset typically. And it converts that wired signal into wireless. Just to make sure that you pair your device with this prior to the flight. And be very cautious with... Um, uh, any other Bluetooth things you may have because it will not work. So when it works, it's awesome, but you just got to be careful with it because your Bluetooth device will be pairing to your other devices and not this. So that way you can watch something wirelessly, which allows you to keep that uh, noise canceling entertainment, which is uh, going to increase your uh, quality of your flight quite a bit. Um, Bart's Bees lip balm, especially in the winter, uh, really important. And uh, good old gum, always uh, important. Um, especially with the mask era, we, um, you know, don't uh, want to mitigate any bad breath because you're the first, <laughs> you're the first one to be very aware of it. Uh, keep the wallet over here on the outside for ease of access. Earplugs, especially for uh, walking around the aircraft, uh, you want to protect your hearing when you're out there, so as to not lose it. Got that. And then uh, kids' wings. Um, always uh, handing these out and uh, just got to have them on the outside. Typically, I'll have um, airplane cards as well. At the present time, I don't. I just need to uh, refill it. Over here. Uh, the flight notes pad, I do have a video on this specifically, so make sure to check that out. I have the file there for you to take a look at and download uh, for free, so go ahead and take a look at it. Um, just what I use to take notes of all the uh, pertinent numbers to every single flight that change every single flight. More gum, hand sanitizer over here. Um, all of my pilot documents, everything that is very important for flying and required to have on board as a pilot. I keep it over here always. Um, consistency is key. It is extremely important to never be missing any documents, including your uh, very important passport, of course. Backup pens and an Apple Pencil. I do use this to interact with uh, both private and uh, company's iPad. It does help mitigate some of the uh, smudges there, uh, oily fingers and what have you. 
the little tag. Uh, really good, obviously by Apple. It just uh, keeps tabs of everything as I am. Uh, in case I misplace my bag, I can find it. Uh, not to be an ad for them, but it is a really cool little device. Over here, I have my uh, sunscreen visors that they're see-through, so you can still see through them. Uh, they protect very little, to be honest. But uh, if the aircraft is very hot, uh, you definitely want to use these. They are a huge help, um, especially on the ground, uh, before you have the full strength of the engines for air conditioning. These are huge help. Uh, even if the airplane has sunscreens on the ground, I'll uh, put these so that uh, I can cool the flight deck a lot more. Mind you, we do have lots and lots of computers uh, which are heating the flight deck a lot more than the rest of the cabin. So that's really good. And then um, over here, I have some emergency stuff. This pouch, I uh, use it more of an emergency. It is not uh, quick access. It's deep and it's compressed, not easy to access. So I... Uh, use it as an emergency. So over here, I have a Tide pan. Um, any uniform emergencies can truly be mitigated with this Tide pan. I've actually used it many times throughout my career. Uh, the worst of which was I was a passenger and the, uh, the passenger in front of me did the fastest seat recline move I've ever seen. The seat just snapped back really fast. And I had a cup of coffee right there, uh, airplane coffee, not my thermos with a lid. And it just, man, it was, it was bad. Uh, well, I was able to mitigate that. I went into the lab, <laughs> used about the whole pan. And uh, because of the undershirt, uh, the stain just bled through into the undershirt. And I walked out clean. And people were seriously impressed with how I was able to clean that. This is a super backup uh, situation in case I need it. Never intend on using that color, but uh, better than nothing. So I have that one in case I need it. And uh, just some wipes, uh, sanitizing wipes I got from a hotel. Uh, honestly, I don't use it, but it's there in case of an emergency. And that's where that goes. In the main compartment, uh, so this bag has a really nice uh, handle that you can just grab and open the, the whole bag, which is really nice. And then you get to uh, take a look at everything that's on the inside. Um, over here is the main compartment, of course. So it's the things that will be used on every single flight. Um, company's iPad, uh, ready access, and the almighty important headset. I do use, as you know, a uh, short-term and long-term test of many different uh, tso headsets. Do make sure to check out the channel for all the headset reviews. I've done several, and there are several more coming up scheduled for this year, and lots of, of Versus series coming up as well. I go in-depth and do not hold back on the details, so make sure to check them out. Right now, I'm sporting my... Um, long-term uh, favorite and the ones I've been using uh, primarily for a very long time, the uh, David Clark 1X. Really like the overall uh, comfort in particular of this headset with the noise performance attenuation. That's fantastic. Um, the Boeing 737 aircraft is a loud flight deck and this really helps. Uh, next item would be a uh, personal iPad. So I got this as well, and it's got the next gen uh, pencil attached to that, together with my reader. Um, a lot of downtime for crew members. Depending on the trip and depending on the company that you fly for, um, certain airlines are infinitely better and more productive and you end up never having any sit time. So this is strictly kind of an overnight uh, reader. Uh, but there are many other airlines where 
You spend a lot of time on the ground, so a lot of idling time. So this uh, will definitely make any sit melt away. You can carry all your books with you. All right, next up is the, um, the AirPods Max. And the reason, the number one reason I carry this, despite its incredible size, it's really large, is because of its noise attenuation capabilities. Now, when I'm traveling as a passenger, this thing is second to nothing. And on a five-hour flight, it'll make it so when you arrive at the destination, you're not as tired. Many other good options, of course, this is top of the line. And I keep it inside of this pouch over here that is attached via Velcro to this. And down at the very bottom, I keep an emergency um, moist toilets and uh, screen cleaners. Very important uh, for what we do, of course. Uh, do look for a review on this specifically. Not holding back any of the details from the standpoint of traveling. So I'll be doing that in the future as well. And then we have the last compartment. And over here, again, the real estate in the bag is sufficient, is good. But you do need to be very smart about how you pack. Um, there isn't too much space. So I got my thermos. It is a monster thermos. It is relatively large, um, but I use it every single day I'm at work. And, and, and that's just uh, the most important thing. <laughs> I gotta, gotta have my coffee, man. I gotta have my coffee. So as a huge coffee guy, that's uh, very important. Um, sunglasses, non-polarized, -polar, uh, of course, I'm sure all my pilots know, uh, very important that your sunglasses uh, not be polarized because most of our screens are polarized in the flight deck. And if you have polarized and polarized, you're gonna get either a rainbow or shades or altogether a blackout. Uh, especially if you tilt your head, you'll see your screens blacking out. You'll block all the light. Uh, so you don't, want, uh, you don't want that. So make sure you get something that is not polarized. And that was, that's what I have over there. Over here, we got Backup battery, monster backup battery, capable of charging the electronic devices, particularly uh, the work uh, iPad, and uh, several times over. So it will last any flight. And then I got this pouch back here. I got this pouch just to keep things organized. Um, that's it. It's their uh, two by four ORP. And it is by Contrail. Um, obviously, any pouch will do, right? Um, lotion, particularly important during winter ops, uh, just because if you're operating uh, with all the sanitizing the hands and then um, the really extreme cold temperatures, uh, that comes really, really handy. Flashlight, which I've changed, and I'll uh, show you this one. Um, another uh, sanitizer and sunglasses uh, cleaner kit, extremely important. Um, if you, well, you're gonna wear glasses or sunglasses while you're flying, most likely. Extremely important to be able to keep it super clean. And um, obviously good old pilot type A personality. Uh, so I just like it uh, sparkling so I can uh, see it and not even know that the sunglasses are there. That takes care of that. This is the Claris. So, my previous flashlight was a Claris as well, and uh, it went MIA. So that is, uh, that is the whole story. I'm not sure how that transpired, but uh, punchline is um, I lost it. So I had that one for a very long time. In looking for the next best light, I uh, did my research. This is the X-T2 CR Pro. They had a very quick flash sale online. I was able to grab it for a really good price, uh, lower than normal. 
and it's gotten that same level of output that you can pre-flood an airplane that's 100 yards away, um, just a monster of a, of a flashlight. And on an overnight, you can take it with you, and it does have tactical applications as well, and it just turns into a strobe, a really, really blinding and strong strobe. So I will not demo that because uh, that's going to look really weird on camera, but the, uh, <laughs> oh man, this thing is supremely powerful. It's awesome. In max mode, it heats it up really, really fast. So much so that uh, it's actually nice to keep it in max mode in winter. And then you hold it uh, <laughs> kind of back in your hand and it warms up your hand. Uh, uh, true story. So that that's it's an effective heating device. In fact, you're not supposed to use it uh, max uh, output pointing down because you're gonna burn it out. But you know, if you're out there and it's 20 Fahrenheit and the wind's blowing at 30 miles an hour, uh, nothing's gonna burn out because it's super cold. So I just use it as a hand warmer as I'm walking around. Really, really cool. Um, and that's it, folks. Uh, this bag is not. Like I said, gigantic. You do have to be very smart about how you pack. And that is primarily driven by the necessity to keep things uh, packed accordingly to the size of the aircraft that you're operating. And I do not have that much space to my right or to my left in the uh, Boeing 737 aircraft. So, there you go. That's what I'm packing as a pilot operating daily in the skies here in America, operating a Boeing 737. And do look for a review of this bag. A few of our, uh, our followers have requested it, and we have that coming up next. Stay tuned. As always, folks, until next time, fly safe. Fly safe.